Hi everybody, I'm Jane Chip from Willow Blue Vintage and today I'm going to be showing you my Peacock Blues and Hues journals that I've made with some of the Graphic Fairies um, premium site bundles. I normally use an old book as the basis for a journal and that dictates how many pages I have but this time I've made more sort of traditional um, junk journal stroke art journals and got a bit carried away making the pages so I actually ended up making two journals. I'm going to flip through them fairly quick, otherwise we'll be here all day. Um, so the covers are made from old silk and I've patched it all together and then hand embroidered on top of it um, with greens and blues and um, patches of old, other bits of old silk. And there's an, a real peacock feather on the front as well. And then it all ties together with this green silk. So the main bundles that I've used for these um, journals are Peacock Hues Ephemera, Delicate End Papers, and there's some bits from other packages like the Ocean Blues Ephemera Bundle um, and a bit from the Holiday Blues. And then there's some odd images that I just looked, um, I searched on blue and green and found some other um, images that way. So to start with, um, it's got some of these end papers here and this card was one of the images that I found when I searched on blue and green. Um, dear me, where is it? So one of the things I really like to do is take a print and then make it look like I've painted it myself. Um, so that's the original print. I mounted it onto a piece of card that I painted gold and then I used acrylic paints um, and I used them quite thick so you actually get the texture showing and just went over um, all of the colours and then it actually looks like you're a really talented artist and that you've hand painted um, this beautiful picture. So that's a, just a, a little tip that I do sometimes, it slides in there. I've put silk along the edge of some of the pages, sandwiched it between the two sheets of paper so this is some handwritten letters from the 1800s. I've got rice paper with dried flowers pressed between um, old leaf prints and silk. This is one of the images from the bundle printed onto tissue paper. Uh, Peacock's one of the images from the graphics fairy and um, lots of stenciling and stitching. There's an old photo that's sort of partly obscured by this tissue and stitching. This is something I like to do. This is an old um, wallet from some photographs that I've put a photograph into, painted around it, put encaustic wax over and scraped into it. it gives a really nice effect. Got some ledger paper, butterfly there. That's some of the paper from the um, Peacock Hughes bundle. And this button card is from the Holiday Blues um, bundle. It's one of the printables um, and I've put some peacock greens and blue sort of um, buttons onto that. More peacock prints from the one of the bundles. Go with silk and bits of collage. More dried flowers in rice paper and antique letters. Um, this was from one of the printables which is in peacock hues. These um, one and a half inch squares which are great just for sort of dotting little bits around the journal. Lots of mixed media in here and stitch and more butterflies and peacocks, handmade letter. I've got some bits of antique um, embroidered silk in there, more photographs, dried flowers, got an old postcard, more peacock feathers embroidery, ledger paper, more flowers, some gold. I like this, it's sort of similar to the, um, the goldy colour that you get in the centre of a peacock feather. More photos, peacocks, lots of silk to give it lots of texture. Um, this is from the Peacock Ephemera collection and um, these two bits are a couple of printables that I've sort of used in different ways. So chopping that top bit off to make a, a page there or to use it just as a little sort of tuck spot um, without the whole envelope there. 
and this is also one of the printables um, which started life like that and then I mounted it on card and put some of the lovely marbled paper um, from the bundle on the back. That's another photograph that I adapted. More butterflies from a bundle, lots of rice paper, old stamps. That's a leaf print that I did. More photos. Oh, this is gorgeous. Um, this is from um, the Ocean Blues ephemera pack. Um, gorgeous image. And the tuck spots made from some of the paper, um, one of the end papers bit of an old book spine there and some more peacocks and this card again it's one of the ones when I searched on green and blue images um, this gorgeous copy of an old book cover that I've, again I've just made into a, a card with some of the end papers on the back more of the marble paper there an adapted photographs some old letters and silk butterfly I really love these end papers, they're such gorgeous colours. And that's one of the butterflies from the ephemera pack. More end papers. Uh, that's some seeds that I trapped in between rice paper and stitched in. And so that's that one. Very quick flick through of this one because I duplicated quite a few of the ideas. Some sort of um, profiles cut out of cards made onto a page, another old photograph, another photograph that I've adapted and stitched in, more peacocks, end papers. I really love these colours, these greeny blues. The button card, some gold leaf there. a really nice photo of a little boy and this is some paper that I made about just sticking lots of scraps together um, and then I rust dyed it in a saucepan. Some tea bag paper with a butterfly and another peacock, another photograph, lots of this gorgeous silk. There's another copy of that same card that I just showed you. And the beautiful peacock butterfly card again, same again. It's a nice page made of lots of different things. An old photograph that I boiled with some tea. More peacocks. Another photo in one of those old frames. And that's a nice bit, an oak leaf pressed between some tissue paper and framed. More end papers, peacock prints. And there we have it. Thanks for watching.